how to swap crypto in Binance Web3 wallet. So we'll switch over to the Web3 wallet here. And the first thing we need to figure out is which blockchain do we want to use to swap our tokens? Most of the time you can only swap tokens on the same network. However, Binance Web3 Wallet does allow us to bridge between certain different networks as well. So we can do that, but we'll have to figure that out depending on which tokens that we want to trade and which networks that we want to use. So whichever network that we want to use and swap on, we have to pay gas. That is a transaction fee. So the first thing we need is the gas coin on the network that we want to use. I'm going to be using the BNB Smart Chain for this example. So I know that on the BNB Smart Chain, the gas coin is BNB coin. So we can go to swap and then you can see spend and receive. So spend is the coin that you're spending and receive is the one that you're going to swap it into. But we always need some of the gas coin to pay for gas. So what you can do is go to spend, click that token icon and you can see all of the supported blockchains here. So BNB Smart Chain. Arbitrum 1 is going to take ETH for gas, same as Ethereum. Polygon is Matic, Solana is Sol, and so on. So you can figure out which blockchain you want to use, what coin do you need to pay for gas. So I know BNB Smart Chain uses BNB Coin, so I'm going to go home. And I've got BNB Coin right here. So I'm going to send some of that in from my Binance account. If you can't see the asset that you want, scroll down, click Manage Tokens, search for the coin, right? So if you're using Solana or something, you need Sol. So that's it right here, Solana on the Solana blockchain. Toggle that on. That's the coin that you need to send in from your Binance account. So I'm going to go over to my BNB uh, token icon here. You can see it's BNB coin in the bottom right. That's the BNB smart chain logo. So it's BNB coin on the BNB chain. Uh, going to click that. Going to press transfer down at the bottom. And that's going to populate all of my details. So it's coming in from my spot wallet. I've obviously got some BNB coin in my Binance account already bought. If you need to know how to do that, I'll leave a, a beginner's guide down in the description to Binance. Links below to exchanges I use as well with some deposit and trading bonuses. But you can see from Binance Spot Wallet to my account, it's all automated because, um, you know, it's obviously linked. The coin is BNB. I'm going to press transfer. Then I'm going to see how much BNB that I actually have. So this is my address that I'm sending to. I'm going to withdraw some amount right here that you can choose, right? and then press withdraw. That's going to send the coin from your Binance account into the uh, Binance Web3 wallet. Just make sure that you have the gas coin on the network that you want to use. Now that we have some of the gas coin in our network, we can actually use that network to swap any two other tokens. We can also use the gas coin as kind of a value coin to actually use that value to swap into any other coin as well and simultaneously pay the gas fee. So if you know the coin that you want to swap into, add it into your account so that you can see the balance. Go to manage tokens down at the bottom. Then from here, you can search for it. So I know that I want to swap into USDT. Uh, so it shows me all of the USDT coins or tokens on all of the different networks. I know that I'm swapping on BNB Smart Chain, so I can toggle that on. If you're swapping on a different chain, you can toggle that on. Now, if you can't find the coin, you can add it manually by going to the top, the plus icon here, and you can search for the contract address of that token that you want. Go to CoinGecko or something like that, search for the token that you want, get the contract address there, and then you can just paste that in the contract address, choose the network that it's on, and you can see it already knows that this contract address is USDT. I can add this myself, so I don't need to add it manually, but if you can't see the token, you can add it manually here. And I'm gonna go back to the main page. So now we can actually go ahead and swap. So swap here. And you can see spend and receive. So spend is the coin, the value that you're spending, and you're receiving what other coin. So go to receive. Now, like I said, on some occasions, you can swap cross chain. So let's go to Arbitrum 1 and let's find US dollar tether. We can see up here, that's obviously the one that we want. Um, and let's see if we can swap cross chain. So I can actually swap cross chain here. So spend some BNB. I've got some of that BNB in my account. And I'm going to receive it into my same address in my Web3 wallet. But that US dollar tether is actually going to be on the Arbitrum 1 chain. Now, what's happening here is you're swapping cross chain. You can see the provider is actually looks like Binance Bridge. So Binance are basically in the middle here. They're providing that service. So you can actually get the value from one chain to another. 
um, using Binance is Bridge, and they'll charge you a network fee in BNB of around you know two cents, right? One cent, one point seven cents, right? So very very small. So you can actually swap cross chain, and it's it's pretty good. So what we're going to do though is actually swap on the same chain. Um, so we're going to go BNB Smart Chain. We're going to search for USDT, and that's obviously the one that I want because it's up at the top. And I'm just going to swap this because I don't have to swap cross chain. So let's go with an amount to swap. You can see the provider is Binance, so that's the best rate. So click on this. This is Binance Bridge again, and the network fee is 15 cents. Again, paid in BNB. That's the network fee. One inch is an exchange aggregator. That's a third party that also gets very good trades. And Pancake Swap as well, the decentralized exchange. So which one should you use? Well, the one that's going to give you the best rate. Binance chooses that automatically. You can see the minimum received. Now, if you click to the right hand side of this, you can see the, the kind of pencil icon. Click that. This is slippage tolerance. Slippage is the difference between the price quote that you get given here and then the price that you actually trade at on chain. There's going to be a slight time difference between the quote that you're get, getting given and what the actual uh, exchange rate is when you trade. So what should you set for very large tokens like layer one coins, ETH, USDT, USDC? They're very liquid. So the slippage is gonna be very, very small. You can set that to maybe 0.5% or something like that. If you're trading small tokens that are kind of unknown, then you may need to allow for slightly higher slippage, like 1%, maybe even 2%. Um, so I'm just gonna do 1% here. So that means that essentially, this is the price quote that I get, but I am happy getting a worse trade by up to 1%. Now, if it actually can't swap within that tolerance, so let's say the actual swap would go through, but the swap would be 2% worse, then what will happen is actually the transaction will cancel because I've said 1% is the most I'm willing to like have a slippage away from this actual price quote. So the network fee, as you can see here, is 15 cents and it's paid in BNB, which is why you need that gas coin in your wallet to pay for the transaction. So what you can do is press swap, you can see all of the details here, and then you can press confirm. Now this is gonna come and sign the transaction. Now Binance Web3 Wallet is a pass keys or um, you know, a, a wallet between you and Binance. And so in order to sign the transaction, you have to actually sign in with your face ID or um, you know, biometrics. Press continue there, and that will actually sign the transaction, and that, that will actually go ahead and make the swap as it told you on the previous page. If you want to sell and cash out of your crypto, you can't do that within the Web3 wallet. We have to send the crypto back into the Binance centralized exchange and then from there sell it back into a fiat currency or just withdraw it to a bank account or our card. Binance centralized exchange allows us to do that. So what I can do is press BNB coin, press send. And then from here it says, where do you want to send it? And it says, this is your exchange account. Do you want to send it back? I can say, yes, that's my spot account. Press continue. How much do you want to send back into your spot account? The whole lot. Preview send, and then go ahead and send that. That's sending it back into your centralized exchange. And then from there, you can go ahead and cash out and withdraw it to your payment method. I'll leave the full tutorials for the Binance centralized exchange and the Web3 wallet down in the description as well. I'm James, this is my ZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.